Hey, hello everybody! Eu sou Adir Ferreira e bem-vindos a mais um vídeo com o Listening Practice de inglês iniciante em inglês americano. Aqui nós vamos ter vários exercícios para você praticar seu listening. Se você está começando a estudar inglês ou se já estuda há um pouquinho de tempo, é sempre bom revisar. Eu vou começar explicando certinho como vão funcionar os exercícios e é só você seguir as instruções e dar tudo certo, alright? Vamos começar? Aqui nós temos as instruções de como você deve fazer esses exercícios. Leia e escute as instruções do exercício. Escute o áudio uma vez, anote suas respostas no seu caderno ou editor de texto. Depois, continue o vídeo e escute novamente com as respostas. E número 2, lá no finalzinho do vídeo, escute todos os áudios com o roteiro em inglês. Então, se você não entender alguma parte do áudio, lá no fim do vídeo você tem todo esse script prontinho com o áudio novamente e com a forma escrita. E a gente já vai começar aqui apresentando um pouquinho do vocabulário que você vai escutar nesses áudios, tá? Então, nós temos o exercício número 1 um que pergunta Do you hope? Você espera? Você tem esperança? To do these things in the future? Fazer essas coisas no futuro. Então, nós temos um cara aqui com dúvida ou com esperança também. Então, do you hope to be rich? Ser rico? Be famous? Ser famoso? Travel to another country? Viajar para um outro país? Graduate from college? Se formar na faculdade? Move to another city? Se mudar para uma outra cidade? Have a job I love? Ter um emprego que eu amo. Get married. Se casar. Have children. Ter filhos. Buy a house. Comprar uma casa. Learn a new sport or hobby. Aprender um esporte novo, um hobby, um passatempo. Ou learn a new language. Então, essas são algumas esperanças que as pessoas podem ter no futuro. E agora vamos para o exercício número 2, que pede o seguinte. People are talking about their hopes for the future. As pessoas estão falando sobre suas esperanças para o futuro. Listen and number the pictures. Escute e enumere as figuras. Então, você vai escutar e colocar de 1 um a 6 nas figuras. Logo depois, continue o vídeo e veja a resposta. 1. I hope to be famous someday. Really? Famous for what? Oh, it doesn't really matter. Maybe I'll be a singer, or an actor, or maybe a professional baseball player. Well, good luck. Two. I don't care about making a lot of money. I just want to have a job that I love. Really? What kind of work do you want to do? I'm not sure yet. Maybe be a doctor. But I want to look forward to going to work every day. Three. I love children. I hope to have a big family. Oh? How many children do you want to have? Oh, maybe four or five. Four or five? Better you than me. Four. I've always dreamed of learning to surf. Surf? Isn't surfing difficult and dangerous? Well, yeah, but I've heard it's lots of fun. I really want to try it. Ok, ok. But maybe you should learn to swim first. Yeah, I guess so. 5. I really hope to graduate from college. That's great. What college do you want to go to? Oh, I'm still in high school. I'm studying for my exams at the moment. Oh, well, study hard and good luck. 6. My dream is to have a big house someday. Really? Yeah. I want four bedrooms, a big yard, a three-car garage, a pool. Hey, sounds nice. Can I come visit? One. I hope to be famous someday. Really? Famous for what? Oh, it doesn't really matter. Maybe I'll be a singer, or an actor, or maybe a professional baseball player. Well, good luck. Two. I don't care about making a lot of money. I just want to have a job that I love. Really? 
What kind of work do you want to do? I'm not sure yet. Maybe be a doctor. But I want to look forward to going to work every day. Three. I love children. I hope to have a big family. Oh? How many children do you want to have? Oh, maybe four or five. Four or five? Better you than me. Four. I've always dreamed of learning to surf. Surf? Isn't surfing difficult and dangerous? Well, yeah, but I've heard it's lots of fun. I really want to try it. Okay, okay. But maybe you should learn to swim first. Yeah, I guess so. Five. I really hope to graduate from college. That's great. What college do you want to go to? Oh, I'm still in high school. I'm studying for my exams at the moment. Oh, well, study hard and good luck. Six. My dream is to have a big house someday. Really? Yeah. I want four bedrooms, a big yard, a three car garage, a pool. Hey, sounds nice. Can I come visit? Agora seguimos com o exercício número 3 que pede o seguinte. People are talking about their summer plans. As pessoas estão falando sobre seus planos de verão. What is each person going to do? O que cada pessoa vai fazer? Listen and circle the correct answer. Então aqui você vai pausar esse vídeo agora, ler todas essas opções, depois toca o vídeo novamente e escolha a resposta certa. No próximo slide, você escuta novamente o áudio com a resposta. 1. Well, unfortunately, this summer, I'm going to study for my exams. I'd like to take a vacation, but this is my last summer for studying. My exams are next spring. Next summer, I can have fun. 2. I'm going to try to get a part-time job. I think I might work at a clothing store or a movie theater. I wish I could just relax this summer, but I really need to make money. 3. I'm going to visit my grandparents this summer. I haven't seen them for a few years, and it'll be great to spend time with them. I'll miss my friends, but I know we'll text all the time as usual. 4. I'm going to study Spanish in Spain this summer. I'm going to live with a Spanish family, so I'll have to speak Spanish all the time. I'm kind of nervous, but really excited. I hope to make lots of new friends and improve my Spanish. 5. Actually, I don't have big plans for the summer. I'll probably just hang around at home and play video games and sleep a lot. I'm always studying during the school year, and I had a job last summer. So, it'll be nice to just relax and take it easy for a change. 6. I'm going to spend most of the summer babysitting for my little sister. My parents both have to travel a lot for work, and my sister is too young to stay home by herself. It's not really fair. I'd rather hang out with my friends. 1. Well, unfortunately, this summer, I'm going to study for my exams. I'd like to take a vacation, but this is my last summer for studying. My exams are next spring. Next summer, I can have fun. 2. I'm going to try to get a part-time job. I think I might work at a clothing store or a movie theater. I wish I could just relax this summer, but I really need to make money. 3. I'm going to visit my grandparents this summer. I haven't seen them for a few years, and it'll be great to spend time with them. I'll miss my friends, but I know we'll text all the time as usual. 4. I'm going to study Spanish in Spain this summer. I'm going to live with a Spanish family, so I'll have to speak Spanish all the time. I'm kind of nervous, but really excited. I hope to make lots of new friends and improve my Spanish. 5. Actually, I don't have big plans for the summer. 
I'll probably just hang around at home and play video games and sleep a lot. I'm always studying during the school year, and I had a job last summer. So it'll be nice to just relax and take it easy for a change. Six. I'm going to spend most of the summer babysitting for my little sister. My parents both have to travel a lot for work, and my sister is too young to stay home by herself. It's not really fair. I'd rather hang out with my friends. No exercício 4, listen again. Escute novamente. Então, esse exercício vai ficar mais fácil para você, porque você já escutou algumas vezes. Is each person looking forward to their summer plans? Cada pessoa está ansiosa, looking forward to, é ansiosa, to their summer plans, para os seus planos de verão. Check the correct answer. Então, nós temos Molly, Peter, Kara, John, Nick and Julia. E essa pessoa vai estar looking forward to summer ou not looking forward to summer. Novamente, escute, dê sua resposta, depois vá para o próximo slide para você conferir. 1. Well, unfortunately, this summer, I'm going to study for my exams. I'd like to take a vacation, but this is my last summer for studying. My exams are next spring. Next summer, I can have fun. 2. I'm going to try to get a part-time job. I think I might work at a clothing store or a movie theater. I wish I could just relax this summer, but I really need to make money. 3. I'm going to visit my grandparents this summer. I haven't seen them for a few years, and it'll be great to spend time with them. I'll miss my friends, but I know we'll text all the time as usual. 4. I'm going to study Spanish in Spain this summer. I'm going to live with a Spanish family, so I'll have to speak Spanish all the time. I'm kind of nervous, but really excited. I hope to make lots of new friends and improve my Spanish. 5. Actually, I don't have big plans for the summer. I'll probably just hang around at home and play video games and sleep a lot. I'm always studying during the school year, and I had a job last summer. So it'll be nice to just relax and take it easy for a change. 6. I'm going to spend most of the summer babysitting for my little sister. My parents both have to travel a lot for work, and my sister is too young to stay home by herself. It's not really fair. I'd rather hang out with my friends. 1. Well, unfortunately, this summer, I'm going to study for my exams. I'd like to take a vacation, but this is my last summer for studying. My exams are next spring. Next summer, I can have fun. 2. I'm going to try to get a part-time job. I think I might work at a clothing store or a movie theater. I wish I could just relax this summer, but I really need to make money. 3. I'm going to visit my grandparents this summer. I haven't seen them for a few years, and it'll be great to spend time with them. I'll miss my friends, but I know we'll text all the time as usual. 4. I'm going to study Spanish in Spain this summer. I'm going to live with a Spanish family, so I'll have to speak Spanish all the time. I'm kind of nervous, but really excited. I hope to make lots of new friends and improve my Spanish. 5. Actually, I don't have big plans for the summer. I'll probably just hang around at home and play video games and sleep a lot. I'm always studying during the school year, and I had a job last summer. So, it'll be nice to just relax and take it easy for a change. 6. I'm going to spend most of the summer babysitting for my little sister. My parents both have to travel a lot for work, and my sister is too young to stay home by herself. It's not really fair. I'd rather hang out with my friends. O exercício número 5 diz o seguinte. College students, então estudantes universitários de faculdade, are talking about their plans. Estão falando sobre seus planos for after they graduate. 
para depois que eles se formarem. Listen and circle the correct statement. Escute e circule a afirmação correta. Então, você vai pausar o vídeo, ler todas essas opções aí, ver se tem alguma dificuldade com o vocabulário, vai no Google Translator, ou use algum dicionário online, ou seu dicionário físico mesmo. Depois, toque o vídeo, dê sua resposta, vá para o outro slide e confira a resposta correta. 1. So, Jake, any plans for after you graduate? Well, I don't think I want to get a job right away. I might want to travel. Really? Where do you want to go? Well, it would be great to go to Africa. And maybe South America. Oh, and China. Wow. But I'll have to make some money first, I guess. Maybe get a job. 2. What are you doing after you graduate, Libby? I'm going to medical school. You're kidding. More school? Yeah, it'll take six years to get my medical degree. Well, good for you. I know you'll be a great doctor. 3. What are you going to do after you graduate, Mary? I might try to find my own apartment. Where do you want to live? I'm not sure. I want to live near my family, but I dream about living close to the beach. That's a hard decision. It will probably be difficult to find an apartment by the beach. 4. What are you going to do after you graduate, Matt? I'm going to be an actor. I'm moving to Hollywood next week. Do you have an acting job already? Oh, that's going to be a surprise. 5. What are you planning to do after graduation, Zach? I'm getting married. Really? That's exciting. You and Eva are such a perfect couple. Eva? We broke up last year. I'm marrying my new girlfriend, Elizabeth. Wow. Things change fast. 6. I can't believe we're graduating next week. Neither can I. So what are you going to do next, Kristen? I have no idea. I've been looking for a job, but haven't had any luck. What kind of job do you want? Oh, just about anything. I don't know. 1. So, Jake, any plans for after you graduate? Well, I don't think I want to get a job right away. I might want to travel. Really? Where do you want to go? Well, it would be great to go to Africa. And maybe South America. Oh, and China. Wow. But I'll have to make some money first, I guess. Maybe get a job. 2. What are you doing after you graduate, Libby? I'm going to medical school. You're kidding. More school? Yeah, it'll take six years to get my medical degree. Well, good for you. I know you'll be a great doctor. 3. What are you going to do after you graduate, Mary? I might try to find my own apartment. Where do you want to live? I'm not sure. I want to live near my family, but I dream about living close to the beach. That's a hard decision. It will probably be difficult to find an apartment by the beach. 4. What are you going to do after you graduate, Matt? I'm going to be an actor. I'm moving to Hollywood next week. Do you have an acting job already? Oh, that's going to be a surprise. 5. What are you planning to do after graduation, Zach? I'm getting married. Really? That's exciting. You and Eva are such a perfect couple. Eva? We broke up last year. I'm marrying my new girlfriend, Elizabeth. Wow. Things change fast. 6. I can't believe we're graduating next week. Neither can I. So what are you going to do next, Kristen? I have no idea. I've been looking for a job, but haven't had any luck. What kind of job do you want? Oh, just about anything. I don't know. Exercício número 6. Listen again. Escute novamente. Are they sure or not sure about their plans? Eles têm certeza ou não têm certeza sobre seus planos? 
Listen and check the correct answer. Então aqui nós temos os nossos personagens Jake, Libby, Mary, Matt, Zach e Kristen. Eles vão estar sure or not sure about their plans. Vão ter certeza ou não sobre os seus planos. Let's listen. One. So, Jake, any plans for after you graduate? Well, I don't think I want to get a job right away. I might want to travel. Really? Where do you want to go? Well, it would be great to go to Africa. And maybe South America. Oh, and China. Wow. But I'll have to make some money first, I guess. Maybe get a job. Two. What are you doing after you graduate, Libby? I'm going to medical school. You're kidding. More school? Yeah, it'll take six years to get my medical degree. Well, good for you. I know you'll be a great doctor. Three. What are you going to do after you graduate, Mary? I might try to find my own apartment. Where do you want to live? I'm not sure. I want to live near my family, but I dream about living close to the beach. That's a hard decision. It will probably be difficult to find an apartment by the beach. Four. What are you going to do after you graduate, Matt? I'm going to be an actor. I'm moving to Hollywood next week. Do you have an acting job already? Oh, that's going to be a surprise. Five. What are you planning to do after graduation, Zach? I'm getting married. Really? That's exciting. You and Eva are such a perfect couple. Eva? We broke up last year. I'm marrying my new girlfriend, Elizabeth. Wow. Things change fast. Six. I can't believe we're graduating next week. Neither can I. So what are you going to do next, Kristen? I have no idea. I've been looking for a job, but haven't had any luck. What kind of job do you want? Oh, just about anything. I don't know. One. So, Jake, any plans for after you graduate? Well, I don't think I want to get a job right away. I might want to travel. Really? Where do you want to go? Well, it would be great to go to Africa. And maybe South America. Oh, and China. Wow. But I'll have to make some money first, I guess. Maybe get a job. Two. What are you doing after you graduate, Libby? I'm going to medical school. You're kidding. More school? Yeah, it'll take six years to get my medical degree. Well, good for you. I know you'll be a great doctor. Three. What are you going to do after you graduate, Mary? I might try to find my own apartment. Where do you want to live? I'm not sure. I want to live near my family, but I dream about living close to the beach. That's a hard decision. It will probably be difficult to find an apartment by the beach. Four. What are you going to do after you graduate, Matt? I'm going to be an actor. I'm moving to Hollywood next week. Do you have an acting job already? Oh, that's going to be a surprise. Five. What are you planning to do after graduation, Zach? I'm getting married. Really? That's exciting. You and Eva are such a perfect couple. Eva? We broke up last year. I'm marrying my new girlfriend, Elizabeth. Wow. Things change fast. Six. I can't believe we're graduating next week. Neither can I. So what are you going to do next, Kristen? I have no idea. I've been looking for a job, but haven't had any luck. What kind of job do you want? Oh, just about anything. I don't know. Exercício número 7 é um ditado. Então agora você vai ter que tomar um tempo e usar o seu editor de texto ou seu caderninho mesmo para escutar essa conversação e escrevê-la aí. Listen to the conversation and write it down. No próximo slide você vai ter a resposta. What are you going to do after you graduate, Evan? Well, I hope to travel around the world. Really? 
Cool. Where do you want to go? Let's see. First, I'm going to go to Singapore, then Australia. That's so exciting. Are you going to travel alone? Well, I'd like to travel with a friend. Hey, do you want to come with me? That would be great. But I'm going to start a new job in August. Oh, well, let me know if you change your mind. What are you going to do after you graduate, Evan? Well, I hope to travel around the world. Really? Cool. Where do you want to go? Let's see. First, I'm going to go to Singapore, then Australia. That's so exciting. Are you going to travel alone? Well, I'd like to travel with a friend. Hey, do you want to come with me? That would be great. But I'm going to start a new job in August. Oh. Well, let me know if you change your mind. E agora, para a gente terminar, você pode conferir todo o roteiro desse áudio que a gente trabalhou nesse vídeo, all right? Bons estudos. One. I hope to be famous someday. Really? Famous for what? Oh, it doesn't really matter. Maybe I'll be a singer or an actor or maybe a professional baseball player. Well, good luck. Two. I don't care about making a lot of money. I just want to have a job that I love. Really? What kind of work do you want to do? I'm not sure yet. Maybe be a doctor. But I want to look forward to going to work every day. Three. I love children. I hope to have a big family. Oh? How many children do you want to have? Oh, maybe four or five. Four or five? Better you than me. Four. I've always dreamed of learning to surf. Surf? Isn't surfing difficult and dangerous? Well, yeah, but I've heard it's lots of fun. I really want to try it. Okay, okay. But maybe you should learn to swim first. Yeah, I guess so. Five. I really hope to graduate from college. That's great. What college do you want to go to? Oh, I'm still in high school. I'm studying for my exams at the moment. Oh, well, study hard and good luck. Six. My dream is to have a big house someday. Really? Yeah. I want four bedrooms, a big yard, a three-car garage, a pool. Hey, sounds nice. Can I come visit? One. Well, unfortunately, this summer, I'm going to study for my exams. I'd like to take a vacation, but this is my last summer for studying. My exams are next spring. Next summer, I can have fun. Two. I'm going to try to get a part-time job. I think I might work at a clothing store or a movie theater. I wish I could just relax this summer, but I really need to make money. Three. I'm going to visit my grandparents this summer. I haven't seen them for a few years, and it'll be great to spend time with them. I'll miss my friends, but I know we'll text all the time as usual. Four. I'm going to study Spanish in Spain this summer. I'm going to live with a Spanish family, so I'll have to speak Spanish all the time. I'm kind of nervous, but really excited. I hope to make lots of new friends and improve my Spanish. Five. Actually, I don't have big plans for the summer. I'll probably just hang around at home and play video games and sleep a lot. I'm always studying during the school year. And I had a job last summer. So it'll be nice to just relax and take it easy for a change. Six. I'm going to spend most of the summer babysitting for my little sister. My parents both have to travel a lot for work, and my sister is too young to stay home by herself. It's not really fair. I'd rather hang out with my friends. One. So, Jake. Any plans for after you graduate? 
Well, I don't think I want to get a job right away. I might want to travel. Really? Where do you want to go? Well, it would be great to go to Africa. And maybe South America. Oh, and China. Wow. But I'll have to make some money first, I guess. Maybe get a job. Two. What are you doing after you graduate, Libby? I'm going to medical school. You're kidding. More school? Yeah, it'll take six years to get my medical degree. Well, good for you. I know you'll be a great doctor. Three. What are you going to do after you graduate, Mary? I might try to find my own apartment. Where do you want to live? I'm not sure. I want to live near my family, but I dream about living close to the beach. That's a hard decision. It will probably be difficult to find an apartment by the beach. Four. What are you going to do after you graduate, Matt? I'm going to be an actor. I'm moving to Hollywood next week. Do you have an acting job already? Oh, that's going to be a surprise. Five. What are you planning to do after graduation, Zach? I'm getting married. Really? That's exciting. You and Eva are such a perfect couple. Eva? We broke up last year. I'm marrying my new girlfriend, Elizabeth. Wow. Things change fast. Six. I can't believe we're graduating next week. Neither can I. So what are you going to do next, Kristen? I have no idea. I've been looking for a job, but haven't had any luck. What kind of job do you want? Oh, just about anything. I don't know.